more Blitzen! There's magic in you! <laughs> Hi and welcome to Select 10. This video is part 3 of top 10 new Netflix original movies released in 2021 so far. We have selected some new movies based on their popularity, which will cover almost every genre. Whether you are a fan of fantasy, horror, action or adventure, this 10 movies has something for everyone, so watch full video to avoid missing any movie from this list. On number 10. The Whole Truth. It is a 2021 supernatural mystery thriller directed by Wisit Susanna Jiang. The story follows two teenagers whose mother had met with an accident and was in a coma while they're sent to live with their grandparents, whom they had never met before. But things quickly turn malicious in the new house as the two teens see a strange hole in the wall that the grandparents cannot. Through this hole, they see a young girl experiencing horrific incidents, which reveals sinister secrets about their family. On number 9. How I Became Superhero. It is a French sci-fi thriller film directed by Douglas Adel. Set in Paris 2020, where superheroes are perfectly merged within society and want to be famous at all costs. But things gets complicated when a drug that gives superpowers to normal human beings is spreading all over town. And now Lieutenants Moreau and Schultzman are investigating the case with the support of two ex-superheroes, Monte Carlo and Callista. They'll do whatever it takes to stop this people from misusing this drug for evil purpose. But when Moreau's past resurfaces, the investigation becomes more complicated. On number 8. A Boy Called Christmas. Do not let him escape! No, we're duped. It is a Christmas fantasy film based on the 2015 book of the same name. The story follows an ordinary young boy called Nicolas who sets out on an extraordinary adventure into the snowy north in search of his father who is on a quest to discover the fabled village of the elves, Elfholm. With the help of a headstrong reindeer called Blitzen and a loyal pet mouse, Nicolas soon meets his destiny in this magical and endearing story that proves nothing is impossible. On number 7. Love and Monsters. Down here, man. What if I have terrible instincts? Seven years after the monster apocalypse, Joel Dawson, along with the rest of humanity, has been living underground ever since giant creatures took control of the land. After reconnecting over the radio with his high school girlfriend, Amy, who is now 80 miles away at a coastal colony, Joel begins to fall for her again. As Joel realizes that there's nothing left for him underground, he decides to venture out to Amy, despite all the dangerous monsters that stand in his way. Overall the movie is fun-filled, action-adventure, with its own good moments. On number 6. Bruised. I'm still scared. This is about to be the greatest story never told. Never told. This is your shot. You ain't no it is a sports drama film, produced and directed by Halle Berry. The story follows Jackie Justice, a disgraced MMA fighter who has failed at the one thing she's ever been good at. But when six-year-old Manny, the son she walked out on years ago, returns to her doorstep, Jackie has to conquer her own demons and get back in the ring. But Road to Redemption is not easy as she thought. Overall this movie is a redemption story of a fighter who reclaims her power in and out of the ring when everyone has counted her out. On number 5. Love Hard. Sure, the photo. It had my name on it. I'm pretty good at Photoshop. Whoa. It is a 2021 romantic comedy film, directed by Hernan Jimenez. The story follows Natalie Bauer, who found a perfect match on a dating app with a man named Josh Lin and forms a strong connection with him. But when she decides to travel to his hometown to surprise him for Christmas, she soon discovers that she has been catfished by Josh, who used another man's pictures. Natalie gets angry but learns that the man whose pictures Josh used happens to live in the same town. But Josh offers to set them up only if she pretend to be his girlfriend for the holidays. Natalie agrees and stays with Josh's family, which leads to complicate things even more. On number 4. Tick Tick Boom. And nothing changes. What then, Jonathan? Maybe I'm just wasting my time. Based on the autobiographical musical by playwright Jonathan Larson. The story follows Jonathan, a young theater composer whose is writing what he hopes will be the next great American musical. 
But days before he's due to showcase his work, John is feeling the pressure from everywhere, from his girlfriend Susan, who dreams of an artistic life beyond New York City, from his friend Michael, who has moved on from his dream to a life of financial security. Overall it's the story of an aspiring composer in New York City who is worried that he made the wrong career choice while navigating the pressures of love and friendship. On number 3. Don't Breathe Part 2. It's not me you need to be scared of, little girl. But the man standing next to you. It is a 2021 horror thriller film directed by Rodo Sayags. Eight years after the events of the first film, blind Navy SEAL veteran Norman Nordstrom lives with 11-year-old Phoenix and his dog Shadow in an isolated cabin. Norman tells Phoenix that her birth mother died in a fire in their old house, which is not true. But their quiet existence is shattered when a group of kidnappers show up and take the girl. With a twist that one of the kidnapper claimed to be Phoenix's dad. Now to save the girl from group of unseemly criminals, Norman had to leave his safe shelter and tap into even darker and more creative instincts in an effort to save her. On number 2. Minal Murli. It is a 2021 Indian superhero film directed by Basil Joseph. It follows the life of Jason, a young tailor who gains superpowers after being struck by lightning and transforms into a superhero. The main story follows Jason exploring his new superpowers and how it leads to his clash with a super villain. By learning how to use his powers, Jason must take down an unexpected enemy to become the superhero his hometown needs. On number 1. Don't look up. There's a comet headed directly towards Earth. Do you know how many the world is ending meetings we've had? It is a 2021 satirical science fiction film directed by Adam McKay. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence as two astronomers who makes an astounding discovery of a comet orbiting within the solar system. The problem, that it's on a direct collision course with Earth, and the other problem is? No one really seems to care. To warn mankind about an approaching comet that will destroy human civilization, they embark on media tour to gain the attention of the social media-obsessed public before it's too late. Overall it's a stunning film with lots of dark humor and a perfect apocalyptic message. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe my channel to see more videos related to web series and movies suggestions.